lovelies, my name is Tony, and welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, watch a few of my videos and see what you think, um, and consider subscribing. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, then thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. It really does help me out a lot. So today, I'm going to be reading another short story for you. I found this one on Pinterest, which I find most of my stories on um, right now. So this one's such a cute story. It's it's about three princesses and a dragon, I guess, is the easy way to put it. <laughs> I guess we'll just get into it. I have my family helping me find more short stories. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a king who had three daughters. One was called Sunshine because she was as beautiful as the sun. Another was called Bunny because she was short and cute. And the third was called Rose because she was as gentle as a flower. In a mountain not far from the city lived a dragon that enjoyed taking princesses prisoner and keeping them in its cave. The king wanted to protect his daughters and surrounded them with guards, but Rose wanted to be able to protect herself and train hard until she was big and strong and no man could beat her in a fight. Finally, one day, the dragon came to the city and went straight to the castle. Without much trouble, it fought down the guards and grabbed Bunny, who tried to hide in the bushes in the garden. It then grabbed Sunshine, who tried to hide in the cupboard in her room. It went to find Rose, who stood tall and strong in the yard, but every time it tried to grab her, she opened its claws and landed safely on the ground. And finally, the dragon gave up and left with only two princesses. Now, knights, princes, and kings from all over the world came to rescue Sunshine and Bunny. Sunshine was rescued by a tall and dark prince from the east, and Bunny was rescued by a strong and broad-shouldered knight from the north. They both got married to their rescuers. All the other knights, princes, and kings were disappointed that they had come all this way and had to go home without a princess and loudly complained to each other in town. The local blacksmith's daughter heard them. She was tough and dressed like a boy, so the townspeople had taken a calling her Billy, to which she had no complaints. She walked up to the knights, princes, and kings and said, The king has a third daughter who wasn't taken by the dragon. I've never seen her, but I'm sure she is just as beautiful as her sisters. And so the knights, princes, and kings went to the castle to see Rose. But when they saw her strong figure, they turned away in disgust. She is stronger and taller than all of us. Hardly a worthy wife for anyone, they yelled and left. This saddened Rose so much that she stopped caring about life and locked herself in her room where she did nothing but cry. She was so sad that when the dragon came back to get her, she didn't fight it and let it take her. Billy was the first to hear about this and ran to the knights, princes, and kings who were about to leave and yelled, Princess Rose has been taken by the dragon. What does it matter to us? She is big and strong. Can't she save herself? They laughed and left. Billy was horrified that no one would save the princess. So she went to her father's shop and made herself some armor, a shield, and a sword. She climbed the mountain and fought the dragon, and unlike the others, she managed to kill it, but got badly wounded herself. Rose came out to help her, and when Billy saw her, she was taken aback by her beauty. How could anyone call you ugly? She said. You are not a flower, but a cherry tree in the spring. So much stronger and beautiful than just one weak little flower. Rose cried with happiness at those words and carried the wounded Billy to the castle and told her father what had happened. The king was overjoyed and while Billy had been away, the king had promised whoever could save his daughter could marry her and get the kingdom. So Billy and Rose got married, Billy became king, and they lived happily ever after. I love stories like this. Um, I love stories that are a little bit different um, than like the norm. So like this one is different because it's a girl who rescues the princess and they get married and have, you know, happily ever after instead of like a prince or a king or whatever coming to save her. Another thing is like it, it's a blacksmith's daughter. So it's like she's a different character than in the fact that she's not like royalty or whatever and like the prince comes and sweeps her off her feet. Um, but I really like stories like that. So. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and subscribe. If you know anybody else that would like to see this video, go ahead and share it. 
If you can think of anything else that you'd like to see in future videos, if you have any short stories, if you want to ask me any questions, if you have any challenge videos that you would like to see, I might do those in the future, um, then go ahead and leave those in the comments below. And I will see you guys on Monday. Bye!